Welcome to the next episode of Tom's Computer Channel. In this episode we have another gaming console. This gaming console was one of the most successful gaming console the early 90s and it was one of the first 16-bit consoles. And it's the Nintendo Super Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, yeah, this one is very yellow, you see. So um, we take a closer look, and so let's get started. So this uh, Super Nintendo MSA Entertainment System, you see, it's very yellow. And from top to bottom, and the Super Nintendo and the same entertainment system is sold in Europe. This is PAL version in 1992 in August. So it's part of the Super Famicom family. And came after the Nintendo Entertainment System. This was an 8-bit console, this is a 16-bit console. So it has better performance and better games. It was the great competitor of the uh, Sega Mega Drive. And so um, if Sega lost the market to Nintendo, he came out in the middle of 90s with the PlayStation. The end of marketing, selling and marketing for this was 1994. And so here we have a 16-bit processor in it with uh, 128K of RAM and 64K graphic memory. So here we have the top of this console. This is a gaming slot. You put the games in there. The power switch, the check button for the for the gaming cartridges, and the reset knob, reset button, and uh, power LED. On front we have two control ports. On the sides we have nothing. On the back we have the multi-out. This is for composite video output and sound output. The RF out. You can switch here between channel 3 and 4. And the AC power socket. So this one came with the, with the um, PSU. This PSU was faulty and doesn't work. But I found out this uh, console not only works with AC 9 volt PSU, you can also use a 9 volt DC PSU and it works very fine. I'll show you later. On the bottom we have here an extension port and the German labels. The screws we have here are Nintendo screws, so you must need, um, you must use a special nut for opening this. So let's take a look inside. So to open this thing up, you have to use a Nintendo nut on the screwdriver so you can put out this ah, it don't work this uh, screw with the special head. And if you see 
see this is the original color. So. And it opens easy. Here are the mechanisms for this. And the reset switch and the power switch. So you see it's a little bit dirty and now we take it more apart. screws are out and here we have it with a little bit of dust put it on the side this on the side The case is apart so that we rinse this in some soapy water. So now we put it in some soapy water, cleaner on top. Now we put it in and let them sit for a while in the water.
Now all is clean and now we rinse them in clear water to get the cleaner off and then we let them dry and then it's time for a And I let them dry. So today I use a different method than before. This is a cream peroxide mixed with some water. And now I brush them on the surface and sit this in the sun. And if this dry, I brush again and so on and so on and so on if the yellowing is gone. So now, in the sun. And now we're cleaning the main PCB. For this we open it up. There's a lot of dust inside. Now we remove the Heat sink. But first we clean this switch. See, all is clean. There's no corrosion from leaking caps. So it's all fine. There's an, only a minimum of corrosion on these metal shieldings 
and the heat sink. The heat sink is made from aluminum. This looks also good. The connector for the gamepad. So no. Little bit of contact cleaner in there. A little bit here. No, it's better here. So, cleaning is done, let's reassemble. At first we reassemble this heatsink. shielding next we put this in the lower case and here's the result of the retro brighting this is after it comes out very well and this is where we started Next we put in the switch. Next thing we do is we assemble the front part.
So, before we reassemble the rest of the console, we test this out, if this works. So, put this together so we can test this. It's a game inside, it's controller plugged in, and so let's start it. And you see, it works. Really why? Well, so let's finish the reassembly. After testing the game console, we reassembled the upper shelf. Other shell is reassembled. And now we put in the eject mechanism. It's a little bit fiddly. Now it's in. So now I'll put the two halves together. For this we need the Nintendo bit. Close the extension port. It's reassembled and now it's ready to play. We are done. So this is for this episode. The SNES looks uh, very nice. Not all of the yellowing is gone, but I'm happy with the result. It was very yellow at the beginning and this uh, is nice. 
how it came out. The controller we will furbish in a future episode. So I hope you like this video. If you do, let me know in the comments, put the thumbs up. And if you want more videos from my channel, please subscribe. And so I see you in the next video. Bye.